Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of TriPlay, a different kind of let's play where first impressions truly matter. My name is Alex and today we're going to be checking out this demo for long gone days. Now, one of the things that really struck me about this whole game is its art style. I mean, look at this. It's, it's kind of neat, right? Like, but... We're going to check out most of the game right now. Again, this demo is downloadable on Steam. I'm not sure what other platforms it's available for, but uh, let's just go right ahead and uh, start the game, shall we? The game is actually coming out sometime 2018. That's all I know, but that might not even be the case. Work of fiction, resemblance. That's it's always striking every time you, you see something like this, but, you know... Common knowledge. What is common knowledge? From the day I was born, it was decided that I'd be a sniper. As soon as I could talk and understand others, my training started. It was the same for every single one of my brothers. Or so I thought. Because of this, I grew up believing that the things that were taught to me at the, the Corps army were things everyone knew about. But who gets to decide what is important to know? As I was growing up, knowing anything about things like history or even how a family usually functions seemed like a complete waste of time. Meanwhile, learning how to control my breath and how to move my fingers accurately were far more important. When you have been spoon-fed with limited choices your whole life, you don't really question the stuff given to you. you just assume it's normal. But what use are those things I was taught, taught during the past 22 years if I, I was ever taken away from the battlefield? If it wasn't for the events in the past few days, I would have never questioned any of these things. Damn, this is already serious, guys. Holy crap. Like, man... I'm guessing the core is, like, underneath, like, the Earth or something like that. Like, I mean, I'm assuming this is still Earth, right? It seems, like, still familiar, like, sniping, and it's almost like modern military. All right, let's continue. The first thing you should remember when you cross the border is that you'll be within Russian territories, even though it's separated from the mainland. Normally, I teach you a thing or two about speaking with the locals, but in this particular operation, any kind of communication with outsiders is strictly forbidden. Do not even tell them the name on your dog tags. Is that clear? Tomorrow, I'll be sent for on deployment for the first time. I wasn't supposed to go, but their previous sniper broke his arm and I was transferred to the squad as a last-minute replacement. You should also note that it is currently summer in the Northern Hemisphere. Those of you who have already been deployed at least once will appreciate the fact that summers in, in Kaliningrad range from 55 degrees Fahrenheit to 73 degrees Fahrenheit, but it still rains just as often as in any other season. As you'll be representing the Polish army, a zero-tolerance policy towards misconduct will be in order. Is that clear? I wish I had more time to prepare. I'm not sure if I'll be able to do a good job like this. Private Rourke. Yes, sir. You can find a briefing with the rest of your notes. If you have any doubts, just ask someone in your squad. Thank you, sir. Okay, that's all for me. We're all counting on you, soldiers. You are dismissed. It's interesting. Like... I thought that guy in the top right is, like, in the middle of a jogging animation. <laughs> I was like, what are you jogging towards? It's a wall, buddy. I mean, is that, like, why it's a demo? Let's talk to some people, shall we? Did you know? You can update your info from the screen. Uh, I'm not gonna save. Do you think someone will notice if I don't shower? Ew. Gross. I could swear I saw one of the tomatoes moving. What? Let's not talk to this guy. This is the greenhouse. Most of our food grows there. Hmm. 
it's it's weird because they mentioned Russia and Poland, and it seems like all right, well that's almost modern. Man, good luck replacing Coil. That guy could shoot a pin from miles away. I'm a fairly competent sniper too, you know. All right, I think we're gonna go in here. Training grounds, sweet. Let's go to the training grounds. Go to the training grounds. Start basic training. Hey, Rourke. Uh. Sorry, who are you? Is this some kind of joke? I noticed you were about to train with the basic targets. Why don't you activate the advanced ones? To be honest, I don't remember how to use them. Really? Just enter your ID on the console and select advanced mode. It's pretty straightforward. Since you're this forgetful, remember, they won't attack you. It would be ridiculous to have something like that. By the way, you should try these bullets. Ooh, incendiary bullets. Sweet. Oh, thanks! Okay. Let's try the bullets I gave you, shall we? Use any kind of bullets, skills menu, icon, represents first number how many times you need. Okay, so it's like, okay, interesting. So we'll use the incendiary bullets to leg? Sure, why not? It's weird because it's like a Dragon Quest style kind of presentation here. You know, where it's like big enemies, but it's realistic looking characters, you know? Evasion has been- nice! That's actually pretty cool. The center mass is the easiest part to hit. You'll rarely miss if you aim for the body. Well, I'm sure you know that already. Most enemies have multiple shots, gonna- Ah, oh, nice! Okay. What if, like, we just headshotted somebody? Like, let's headshot somebody. <laughs> well, I messed up. Let's try it again. These guys won't attack, right? Okay, fine. Let's use the incendiary shot on the head! Kablooey! Alright. Well, we're out of that, so let's try just attacking you and shooting your leg. And then what we'll do is we'll shoot your arm. And we'll shoot your head. Look at that! Systematic elimination. Aren't those bullets great? I don't really need them, so you can have these too. Yes! These bullets kick ass, and I gotta say, that that's an interesting battle system. Anyway, I've gotta go now. I'll be giving you instructions remotely tomorrow. Oh, she, so she's my spotter, Brana. Wish you could have said so from the beginning. Maybe it would be a good idea to take a shower and sleep soon. Okay. So, okay, so we have this. Status, all right. Sarcastic, creative, impulsive. It's interesting. There's not much stats, really. Luck. <laughs> I guess you need luck if you want to be a sniper, right? The core is an extensive state strategically below the surface of the Earth. Core is proud to be able to offer its citizens an environment. Okay. Self-sufficient state. So, so basically, it's it's self-sufficient state. That's what's what it is. Oh, what is? Okay. Showers. All right, let's go into showers. Wee Take a shower. Oh my. Oh my. To think I might miss these hot showers. I must be going crazy. Hmm? That's my squad's medic. He should be able to give me some info about the operation. Uh, I believe his name is Adair? Maybe I should just call him Medic or something. Medic! Please don't do that. Oh, right. 
You must hear that a lot, huh? <laughs> if it's not an emergency, call me Adair. By the way, aren't you Coil's replacement? You haven't been deployed before, have you? No, it's gonna be my first time tomorrow, but I'm... You seem... way too calm. Well, I've been waiting for this day for years. I've never even seen the sun before. Try not to stare at it much, unless you want to go blind. Huh? You don't know a thing about the surface, do you? I wouldn't get my hopes up if I were you. The surface is an awful place. Um, wouldn't you lighten up a little? This is no time. This is not the time to relax. Wow, what an obnoxious little prick. He kind of is. Nerdy glasses guy. Mm, yes, quite. Are we sleeping? I think we're sleeping. I'm guessing this is the barracks. Because I can't really... Yep, can't go there. Alright, cool. Let's go to sleep. Straightforward. I like it. Day two. Whoa. This is a pretty dang serious game. Like, I really thought like, when I saw it, like, yeah, there'll be some serious parts, but there's, there'll be some levity at least. More than 15 hours have passed already. For the first time, I'm sitting on a platform that connects me to the surface. This thing has been shaking the whole time. It makes an ominous noise that won't let me sleep. The guys look wiped out, to say the least. To be honest, I'm not feeling too well either. I haven't eaten anything during the whole ride, but I guess that's because they expected us to fall asleep. I'm already in a cranky mood, and to make things worse, I'm sitting right next to this guy. Let me guess, it's the, gla it's the glasses guy! <laughs> hey! You should try to get some sleep. You know what? I'm too tired to pretend to be polite. Screw this guy. Didn't you say this wasn't the time to relax? <laughs> what? Are you still mad about that thing I told you yesterday? You know, right now is not the time to- No, no, it's okay. I appreciate your honesty. Is that sarcasm or what? It's nothing like that. People are always kissing my ass, as if I wouldn't take care of them if they pissed me off. But let me save you the trouble. I'm a professional. I don't mix feelings with my job. Being my friend doesn't mean that I'll take care of you first. So tell me, weren't you trying to do the same thing yesterday? I tried talking to you because I don't know anyone in this squad. I couldn't care less that you happen to be our medic. Is that so? Well, I'm glad you're not cynical like the others. Man, I've got news for you. Um, if you're still willing to listen to me, there are a couple of things I wanted to tell you about the surface since you were transferred so suddenly. I'm guessing you haven't been properly introduced. I just got the briefing today, so take a guess. Really? Well, you seem so curious about the sun that I thought I should warn you a little. To be honest, I really don't know if the sun could leave you blind, but what I do know is that it burns. It burns like pouring alcohol in an open wound. It can even toast your skin. It's quite fascinating. Why is this guy still talking? It's been like five minutes already. So yeah, based on that, I wouldn't even try to look at it too much. Sounds to me the surface was awfully designed. Well, it certainly wasn't designed for us. What was that? Did we finally arrive or... Uh, even the lights went out. We've arrived. Everyone get ready. We're opening the hatch. As soon as the door that separated us from the outside world opened, a strong and musty odor filled my lungs. My uniform got all damp and it got glued to my body as if a vacuum was sucking out the remaining air inside. The surface is gross. This looks normal to me! Trees and bushes. Ravens are save points. For, for this tri-play, we're gonna avoid saving. 
I'm confident we'll get through this fairly well, right? Listen up, ladies and gentlemen. See those buildings up ahead? We'll set up camp there, but we need to clear the area first. We've sent out the drones and we're currently analyzing the area. So far, there are around 30 targets and we need to act fast. I know you must be fatigued after the long trip, but this should be an easy task for the fourth squad. Any questions? Go to your positions. Already pretty damn serious. Rourke, can you hear me? Yep, what is it? Can you see the enemy base from here? From there? Yeah, I see a couple of buildings up ahead. Okay, listen. The signal jammer has been deployed, and we are now about to cut off their power supply. After the power's been cut off, that will be your chance to attack. Sure, just leave it to me. I'll go to my position. I'm guessing since you're a sniper, yep. Let's do it. Let's shoot some things. Uh, there's no way the enemy didn't notice that. Rourke, you should be able to see four targets from where you're standing. Are you ready? Okay. Whoa, I can move it. Um, uh... Whoa, 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 whoa. It's a good thing they actually stop. Okay, I, I can't shoot that guy anymore. I, the game actually doesn't allow me to shoot again if they're actually dead, so that's good. Guy with a cap. Hmm. That was easy. That was actually kind of fun. The area is clear. Get down the hill. Get down the hill. You should be able to get a better view of their, of their base. On my way. Let's go down the rope. Another save point. I can't go there. I need to stay hidden. Uh, this spot should be fine. Okay, more sniping. Let's go with this guy. This guy. Easy peasy. This is way too easy. No wonder everyone thinks highly of Coil. I should probably meet with the rest of the team. Is everyone here? I want you all to explore every building and every alley. Any target kept alive is a threat to the operation. Go, go, go! This building is empty, but you never know if you have some sort of a secret, if they have some sort of a secret bunker. Okay. Well, I don't know. I was told to keep an eye on it. I'm starving, and I already ate all my rations. You still have yours? Sure, I have one of mine. Oh, it's apple cinnamon. I, uh, I'm not that hungry. Nice. I was kind of iffy with that anyway. Apparently, this is where the enemy store their supplies, but the captain won't let us inside. Whoa! An enemy! Shit, he's really fast. Alcohol has been added to inventory. I want to know what alcohol does. Rubbing alcohol. Highly flammable antiseptic liquid. Okay. I don't know what that means, but alright. Cool.
following an enemy in his own base. This is such an obvious trap. Did you see someone pass by just now? Can't see a thing, honestly. It's too dark in here. It's just a bunch of tires. The road ends up ahead. I don't think there's any place left to check. There is, up here. Oh shit! The doors are locked, but it seems to be empty. Oh crap. He... he ran into a wall. This is suspiciously easy. Am I gonna get ambushed or something? Wait, what is this? Wh what? This is definitely a kid. There's no way he'd be armed. Whoa. Sir, I found a kid. He seems to be alone. Did you shoot him? What? No, but he's really scared, sir. Then what are you waiting for, soldier? Sir, he's just a kid. I doubt he'd be any threat to this upper- Oh, for fuck's sake. Damn. Don't question your chain of command, you damn boot. I'll take care of this. Go somewhere else. Wow, are we killing civilians in this town? What is going on? Oh, passed out. Maybe commits anime amnesia, who knows. What do you guys think of this game so far? I mean, it's very, like, heavy and, like, story so far. And I don't think it's gonna have, like, random encounters or anything. Like, where am I? Everything is so colorful that it hurts my eyes. Are you feeling better? Where am I? Um, I guess you could call this a temporary aid station. You were carried here after you fainted. But don't worry, it probably happened because you hadn't slept or eaten or anything. Anyway, the area is clear now, so you can sleep a bit longer if you need to. You still look a bit pale, though. I'll get you some water. Hey. Thanks. It's okay. To be honest, nobody's gotten injured yet, so I haven't gotten much to do here. I mean, not that I want someone to get injured or anything. This guy's so weird. Sorry, tap water tastes funny, so I got you one of these from the store. By the way, do you remember anything before you passed out? Yeah, I remember clearly. I don't mean to pressure you, but I was told you almost let one of the, the targets escape. Um, how do I put this kindly? Whatever. It could have cost us the mission, you know? What happened back there? I didn't feel like shooting. He was a civilian, a kid. He wasn't gonna attack me or anyone else, so I didn't know if I had to shoot him at all. But why did you make an exception for this target? Killing enemy soldiers is a different story. That's what I've been training to do all my life. By, but killing a civilian for no reason. Wait a minute. What? We do have a reason? I'm surprised you've come this far, and yet you haven't figured out what kind of operation we're into. I thought you would have realized by the time that the targets weren't fighting back. Wait, none of my targets were soldiers? Are we at the wrong location? What the hell is going on? I don't believe this. But I don't get it. Why would Poland need our help then? How could they possibly benefit from killing civilians? 
Besides, for such a dirty job, wouldn't it be better if we weren't using our uniforms? Have you seen any Polish soldiers here? There's no war going on in Kaliningrad, Rork. Huh? And we were sent here to change that. What? This makes no sense. I can't even process all this shit right now. But why Poland? Why Russia? I just don't get it. I'm afraid that's all I know. But what are we then? Some kind of terrorists? It's called a false flag operation. How's that any different? How could be so calm knowing that? Don't get me wrong, I don't like this either. But what else can we do? Go and try to tell the captain you want to leave? We could always bail, right? Let's get out of here. Don't be stupid. We just get executed for desertion in a second. <laughs> At this point, that wouldn't be so bad. Seriously, you need to calm down a little. You aren't thinking clearly. This dog tag. Even the name on it has nothing to do with me. Would they actually know it belonged to me if I die? Here, I'll save you the hassle. You are insane, you know that? Just a bit. I don't, pl I don't plan to get caught, though. Alright, let's walk out. Wait! If you really are planning to go, take some supplies. I have some extra rations. Uh, thanks. But what about you? You know, as a medic, I have permission to take wounded soldiers into other facilities by myself, without supervision. But I'm not wounded. Just need to fill out paperwork reporting a somewhat serious condition, and you just need to act the part. This should give us enough time to flee before they notice we aren't coming back. I can't guarantee it will work, though. Wait, so you're coming with me after all? Are you sure about that? Well, I'm not too thrilled about staying here any longer. Plus, you seem pretty confident. If there's even a small chance that we could get out of here, I'd like to try it. Besides, I think you might need my help considering you are forgetting your rifle here. Oh. <laughs> this guy is a doofus. You know, I've been doing a lot more voice acting in this one than any of my previous tri plays. This is actually really cool. I mean, the storyline is really intriguing. I mean, what? Like, we're here to cause a war? Can I help you? I need to take him to the field hospital. I don't have the necessary tools here. Man, what's... what is... what is it with our snipers lately? First Coil and now the new guy. Hand me the paperwork. Hmm... how long will this take? Three or four hours should be long enough, I think. We'll be back before it gets dark. We need to make sure his tinnitus isn't something serious. We can't afford to lose another sniper. Tinnitus? What the hell is tinnitus? Hey, bud, did you forget to wear ear protection? Uh, it's got something to do with my ears, I guess. Um, pretend not to hear. His ears seem to have been heavily clogged too, so I need to run an audiometric test, but we don't even have an autoscope here. Really? Ugh, those pricks from the third squad always get all the resources. Speaking of that, you should ask them if they could spare some coffee. We're running short. Sure, will do. That was surprisingly easy. That year has been added to the party. His items have been added to the inventory. Okay, cool. Sweet. Oh. Wait, don't cross yet. Why not? While this river may not be too deep, its flow might be strong. We should make sure it's safe to cross it. Seriously? We can't waste time on something like this. Okay, let me find something we can use as a bridge. What is this thing? 
Are these good enough? Sure, bring them to me. All right, pass me the plank. How are you going to put them? I, uh, it slipped. Did you drop it on purpose? Of course not. At least now we know the river's flow is insignificant, so I just crossed the damn thing. For someone who acts high and mighty, this guy's pretty dumb. Damn! Putting him on blast, dude! Holy crap! What did he do? He wanted to help you, man. Let me guess. You want me to find something heavy and test a bridge now? <laughs> With that attitude, I'm still deciding if I should follow you. What is that noise? Wait, do you hear that? What? The river? No, no, it's something I heard before, like a buzz. Maybe must be some kind of insect. Quick, hide! Oh no! A dare! Shit! It's one of our drones! During battles, it's important. Okay, there's morale. Okay, so we gotta boost our, their morale and stuff? Sweet! Wow! Interesting. So we have to fight this thing? Hurry up and take cover! What are you waiting for? Try to shoot it down before it notices us. Alright, it's not even moving. Um, Doc? I'm telling you, we should leave it alone. Whatever, I'll try to take it down with one shot by myself then. Kinda cocky, dude. Oh crap. I think we got into an actual battle. Hey, Adair! We could really use your help now! What's the point, really? Our plan already failed. Even if this thing doesn't kill us, we'll get executed by our own brothers. You could at least try, dammit! Yeah, I guess you're right. Right on! Okay, so we'll do an incendiary shot on the right wing, and I will have you attack that wing as well. I mean, I would imagine that if we hit the wings, like, it'll just fall apart. I'll attack that, and I'll have him focus on that. Okay, so now it's got, like, damage over time. Alright, let's shoot the other wing. Um, I think I could just do, like, a regular attack. I don't want to spend, like... All my incendiary shots. Kabam! Yeah! Let's take a look. Hmm? There are some odd looking bullets here. That's probably the bullets I used. <laughs> Why are there drones here? I think that's the extent of, like, what I can check out here. But I know that there's actually a ton more to this demo, guys. But we're going to stop here so you guys can actually play the demo and stuff. But this is, wow, this is such a serious game. Like, the actual look of the game belies the seriousness of the tone. But... I kind of do like it because there's some really cool things in the battle system. But I dread what the storyline that's actually the storyline that's actually going to be unfolding here but i did enjoy it as much as i can enjoy something that's super serious like this but if you guys want to try it out it is on steam again the the game is called long gone days it is a demo i'm not sure when it's out maybe it's going to be out in 2018 you can check it out on steam and um you know hopefully you guys enjoyed this try play i certainly did to an extent um but 
in case you guys want to watch something a little bit more chipper, maybe, we th there's going to be a bunch of playlists that'll pop up there. One's, uh, one's about, like, you know, podcast episodes. The other one's for tri-plays. Go check them out if you want to see more tri-plays. Listen to the Backlog Battle podcast if you guys want to check out some other really neat news and stuff. And subscribe to the channel if you like this uh, video and stuff. So, anyways, guys, thanks very much for joining us, and we'll see you guys later. Happy gaming.